touch on some other security matters, but this time around in the Eastern Region. The Eastern Regional Security Council has described as false claims that content of a viral video alleged to be a ritual murder is from the region. A video circulating on social media suggests that uh, some men were killing people for rituals uh, at a hideout purported to be uh, in or around the regional capital of Kofurija. But in a statement signed by the uh, regional minister, said Kwame, uh, Kwame Champong, of course, it states that the earlier reports and the entire reports that we are seeing through that video footage is not accurate. Well, fortunately, at this point, the regional minister is joining us via Zoom now, and uh, it's such a good time to be talking to him. Thank you so much, uh, Honourable, for joining us. So here we are. Uh, you're denying, first of all, the claims that the footage is not from within the uh, the, the area. Are, are, we, are you are you, your investigations clearly telling you how the video even started circulating in the first place? Thank you very much, and good afternoon to yourself and uh, those joining us via via your medium. The evidence before us demonstrates clearly that those footages is nothing related to Koforidia. There is no suburb within the municipality that depicts such scenes. And we condemn whoever circulated such videos just to take away the beauty and the shine of a traditional farewell Mm. for our overlord. We do not take this kindly at all. And like you may know, the security apparatus is always working continuously to get to the bottom of every matter that comes before them. And we have encouraged them to assist us to go through the technology setup to be able to identify from which I feed these things came from. We want to know who is such a disingenuous character that wants to tarnish the image of the new driving state, and not just the new driving state, but the entire region, which is the eastern region. And I'm sure that by now, a lot of Fear has been going down the spine of many residents within the region. Uh, how are you dealing with that by allaying their fears and giving them assurances that the security agencies uh, will definitely protect them? So one of the mediums and the tools is via the press release that we sent out. That was the first port of call to bring back the joy to bring back confidence and to enable our people to walk about and do through their daily chores without fear or panic. That is the responsibility of government to always grant the citizenry the necessary public safety measures. And so our first deployment was to send out this signal so that the notice gets out there to each and every person. Subsequent to that, we are already on an alert via the alert issued by the minister responsible for national security. And so for us, we are already at work at the RECSEC. And these things will not make us move away from the subject matter and take our eyes off the board. We are firmly having our eyes on the board and nothing will move it away. But I said on some other platform that I have used the local media, and it is through the media today that we can reach the numerous people of our region. And so we are doing our best speaking ever since the matter broke and explaining and assuring our people that nothing of such happened and nothing of such will happen. It was just normal traditional rights. One of the reasons why some may have panicked at the outset was that when such rights are to be performed, they are performed within a very severe 
calm atmosphere. And so our traditional authorities and leaders always caution that when such rites are to be performed, they expect the community to remain silent and calm. That is not too much a demand by the traditional authorities. As you may be aware, even as some festive rites are to be performed, as you may know, even in the Ghana state, when the ban on drumming comes up, you are supposed to observe and respect the rights of our traditional authorities. And so similarly, when our traditional authorities have signaled to us that they may be performing the burial rites, and that demands that community became, becomes calm, it is just a sign of respect to the departed so that all of us will honor the departed in a good farewell bit. That is not to say that something untoward will be done. So for us, whoever tried to manipulate by going through the new media mechanism, new media tools to divert attention and to rather mar the beautiful image of the Eastern region, and the pride of the Eastern region, our regional capital, the city of Flowers Coast Florida will not be permitted. They have to stop such things. But we are not stopping here. We're going after them. Mm. And we, are, we are very confident we could get them. And the necessary sanctions and penalties will be better out to them when they are found. Uh, and I'm sure that um, you've been interacting with the traditional council ever since this video started going viral. How worried are they about the uh, circulating video? And what steps are you taking to deal with what you describe as misinformation? They right from the outset, the traditional authorities involved us in the preparation of the final dotie, that's the rights in seeing our overlord off in a decent farewell. So we've been in close communication. Hence, the reason to issue a statement on behalf of the Regional Security Committee, because we were directly involved in the management both vehicular and human traffic, and ensuring that public security measures are fully in place and public order was fully respected. So we are in a day-to-day -day meeting with the traditional authorities. And so at every inch of our step, we apprise them with what is happening. Mm. So they know that this is what some miscreants, I call them, were trying to do to misinform the population against the state. Fortunately, we were able to come and got our people who have a well with our high tech subject men within the security apparatus who were able to tell us that this is not even emanating from the jurisdiction of the Republic. Those images and footages are not even from Ghana. They are from elsewhere. How do we, you know, get all these facts through? Because it's a matter in progress and investigations are still underway. We want to know who is being so mischievous mm. to throw out such a matter into the domain just to take away a shine of the rights of an overlord. Right, and I believe that um, part of the reasons uh, accounting for all of this is largely because of some acts of police brutalities and clashes that are happen happening not necessarily within the region but elsewhere. The, the belief by some experts is that it's giving a breeding ground uh, for such false information, as you're describing it, to gain grounds and to misinform the people some more. Um, what steps are you taking to reassure everyone, particularly within the region, that uh, the, the region is definitely going to be peaceful as it is now? The only assurance is by your kindness and permitting me to speak through this media. Beyond this, uh, Men and officers are already in position. They are going about their daily chores of ensuring peace, stability, and the unity of our people are assured. The encouragement is that visibility is up in the region. We have men on patrol. We are doing everything possible for people to have the assurance that there is public safety. However, the unfortunate incidents of some brutalities. I'm not holding breath for the security services 
But I think that as a citizen, and to an extent, the citizenry of our republic, we should all respect each and every person. Mutual respect enhances coexistence. Many a times, the rhetorics of us non-security personnel, civilians, against security personnel, we have to reorient our thinking, our thought processes, and our actions towards the security personnel. They are equal citizens like us. It is only the law that mandates them to be in some apparel that grants them the mandate to order us about and to guide us and ensure that order is maintained and upheld. And so I encourage each and every person to relate appropriately with the security services. And if you do so, they are loving who to be with. This is what I can say. That, not, that aside, I want to say it's unfortunate that some brutalities have come up. But those brutalities, I'm sure, if it is at the wrong of the security services, the internal mechanisms of the service that takes care of such unfortunate happenings. Uh, we know that prior to the funeral arrangements, uh, in fact, in the wake of the ceremonies, there, there were heightened um, security measures that you took prior, within, and now after the celebrations. Uh, there are questions about uh, what it is that um, the regional security will be doing going forward in terms of the security arrangements. Are you changing what, what used to be during the um, events? Not necessarily. This was a one-off event. So we had to apply to the Inspector General of Police to support us with some officers and men because we were going to have an unusual visitation by more prominent citizens. As you may know, the President of the Republic, His Excellency Nana Adudankwe the Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia was here, the former President, President John Ejokun Kufo was here. The Chief of Staff was here. The Council of State Chairperson, who happens to be the Jabinghini Dasibro Tusibro, was the chief who sat in state to hold this beautiful event. You may know that the Jabins are from Asante. So the overlord of Asante, was here with us. So looking at this area of prominent men in our society, it is prudent on the part of the security apparatus, as well as Rexit, to put on high alert personnel to ensure that we have a serene environment for all these great men and women to walk through peacefully and have our community remain intact and safe. And so that measure was put in place to ensure that we had the event peacefully. Post the event, we're back to our normalcy. And our normal routine is to ensure that we send our men on patrol who go around. That is the usual thing we do. Standard operating procedure. We do them. That is nothing new. So how we prepare during the event and post the event measures are all different, but we are assuring each and every person that the public safety is intact. Nothing to worry about. We're grateful. That's uh, Seth the Champong, the Eastern Regional Minister, joining us here on The Pulse. Well, we're keeping our eyes uh, also. <laughs>